Jerry Moore. Jerry Moore. What's going on, my people, and welcome to the SC95 Power Channel. It is that time of the year for content creators. It is Will Madness. So, you know, right before car show season, a lot of content creators will do their new Will reveals. I'm no different than anybody else. So, <clears throat> let's talk about what's going on here today. Now, this is actually like a, uh, a test fit. Um, I don't have everything I need to install the wheels today. So if you remember, I had race stars on this car before I went to the wells and it was an 18 by nine in front and a 20 by nine in the rear. I didn't like the look of that on this car, so I took them off. Well, I have those wheels just sitting in the basement and I don't want to do the 20 by nines in the rear on Project Kendra. So we ordered some wheels from Raystar. So let's show you what we have. All right, so this is basically the same wheel that I had before. But instead of a 20 inch wheel, this is a 18 by 10 and a half. Now this is really spec for a S197. I didn't have any problems putting those on my um, red car, but I did have to run a wheel spacer. So what I want to do today is I want to take these out and I want to test fit them and see what kind of space I'm going to need on Project Kendra. So let's get the car in the air and figure out what we have to do. All right, so not exactly what you would call flush. But here's a great thing about this. I don't really need a huge wheel spacer. Let me show you. Right, let's see if I can get this mounted. What a good angle for y'all. Um, yeah, so right now we have clearance in the front for our caliper. I'm just barely clearing the quad shock. Got plenty of, I don't want to say plenty of room, but we have room. I don't know how thick this is. Let's grab something else. This is a little bit thicker. I still have clearance. Have clearance all around. So I would guess this is maybe like three eighths of an inch clearance. Let's grab something bigger. I guess I could just get a filler gauge. So yeah, this is a three eighths drill bit. So plenty of clearance. I would guess maybe a half inch worth of um, clearance back there. So I don't even really need a spacer unless I just want to bring this wheel out flush a little bit more. So I'm not gonna go with the black look. So my thought is I'm going to spray paint this and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm a DIY kind of guy. So I'm going to spray paint this white. So originally I was gonna powder coat everything, get these powder coated, but Honestly, um, I think I can use the, um, gosh, I can't think of the name, um, the Pour 15. They have a white um, enamel e coating, uh, enamel coating. Now that stuff is very thick. It will actually work pretty good because it'll kind of be a little tough to peel off or to scratch off, you know, any nicks from rocks or anything like that really won't leave a mark. It's almost just as, as tough as powder coating. 
So yeah, I'm going to spray paint this myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out on this one first, and if it doesn't work, then we'll take it to the powder coat shop. But now actually, I might talk to my cousin, <laughs> my cousin, my nephew Johnny. My nephew Johnny's got a plug on powder coating, and the guy's pretty quick because we have this um, event that we're going to in the Detroit area on um, Memorial Day weekend. And I wanna have these white wheels on Project Kendra as we roll up there. Actually, I wanna get the um, the H-pipe, off-road H-pipe put on Project Kendra also. And um, I don't know if my Keith might have, my man Keith might have time, but put the uh, 410 gears on the car. So yeah, I, I think this is gonna be a, a great look as far as a tire, you know, maybe something like a two to 300 tre tread patterning or wear patterning. Um, I need a tire that's gonna be good in the rain. So definitely not gonna do a drag radio, but yeah, I think this is gonna look killer. And I'm, I'm very happy how this has turned out. Now you have to use special kind of um, wheel lugs for this. And I still have those, I, acorn, not acorn style. I can't think of the the name of the style wheel lug that you need, but let me show y'all the specs on these in case you're um, curious. All right, so yeah, this is the um, wheel spec on this. It fits perfect, so I'm very happy with how that's gonna turn out. So, hey, yeah, I, <laughs> don't laugh at me. The garage is a mess. I don't know the order of these videos I'm gonna do, but we've got the um, the engine back on the K-member, the new oil pan is installed, and I'm just currently putting everything back together. So hopefully before um, Cinco de Mayo, that's when Keith's KRW, his um, Cars and Coffee is, hopefully I have this, well, I am going to have this car back together to to make it to that um, cars and coffee so i hope y'all come out to it i'm going to start putting out more information about it it i by the time this video drop you should have more information about it so we'll love for the s95 crowd to come and take that thing over um it's definitely worth coming to it's um you know you, you do have knuckleheads who um will want to ruin some of these cars and coffees you know, a lot of these places have rules of no revving, no burnouts. That's not necessarily the case here. Now you have to use some kind of common sense while you're here and don't ruin it. But you know, if you want to rev your car or if you want to do a burnout before you leave, it's okay because this is in a unincorporated area. So we don't really have to worry about 12, but you know, you act stupid and then people will call the police and come shut this down. So. Use a little common sense if you come through, have some fun, but let's keep it safe. So hope to see y'all there. But if I don't, continue to rock with us with these videos. Tell a couple of people about the channel. And until next time, God bless.